Okay, a few more multiple allele questions concerning rabbits. I'm not going to recap the entire gamut of genotypes and phenotypes here, but I'll just put down that we have our full color allele, which is dominant over our chinchilla allele, which is dominant over Himalayan, all of which are dominant over albino, and I'll fill in the rest as we need it. So they tell us about two parents, one full color and one light gray. Full color crossed with light gray. And from that they tell us the offspring are full color, light gray, and in one case albino. And from that we're supposed to fill in as much as we can. So full color, I'll just blip back to our list here. Full color, also known as dark gray, is really not very helpful because there are four different ways that you can be full color. You can be C with any of the other four alleles. So for the full color parent we have big C blank. For the light gray parent, two possibilities, CCH with either of the recessives from it. I guess that's a little better, but not a ton. Light gray, CCH blank. And there's a little more that we know than that. I'll put underneath here. This could be C, it could be C chinchilla, it could be C Himalayan, or it could be C albino. We have no idea. For the light gray, just double checking here, it can be either the H or the A. C H or C A. So not good. If we were doing all these combinations, we have four possible dads times two possible moms, we'd have to do eight different Punnett squares, so hopefully it doesn't come to that. Now, for the offspring, we have some full color ones who are just like the dad. They could be C with anything. We have light grays who could be C, C, H with a couple of things. And now I'm going to change colors because something wonderful happens. We have an albino. What is it about albino that's so good when you're trying to do genetics? There's only one way to be albino. It's like type O blood. There's, as soon as you see an albino, you know exactly what their genotype is, and hopefully that's going to allow us to tear around and find a bunch of stuff. If you are albino, your genotype has to be CACA. So from this baby rabbit, we know we have C-A-C-A. -A. That helps us a great deal with the parents, because if you have two alleles, like most people do, or two chromosomes, like most people do, one of them came from your dad, one of them came from your mom. This C-A had to come from there. So instead of four possibilities, now we know exactly what's happening in that spot. Wonderful. And for mom, they must have gotten the other CA, so she must have that also. So that's not two possibilities anymore. We've firmed that up. We now know what both of these parents are. And actually, that's all they wanted. They said, find the genotypes of the parents, and this one albino cracked the whole thing open. Great. Let's see if we can do that one more time. They say a chinchilla rabbit chin is crossed with a light gray. Okay. Chinchilla is CCH, CCH. That's the only way it can happen. So we're glad to see a chinchilla. There's no mystery about its genotype at all. CCH, CCH. Light gray is a little less good. There's a couple ways to be light gray. CCH with either Himalayan or albino. So, C, C, 
H blank, and this can be either Himalayan, comma, or albino. I don't know which yet. Hopefully we can fill it in. The breeder knows the light gray rabbit had an albino mother. That's different. Okay, let's scoot this down so we can fit another generation up above here. Okay, so here's one of the parents, and their dear old rabbit mom was an albino, which means she had to be C-A-C-A. -A. Interesting? Very interesting, because if you have two CAs, guaranteed your egg had a CA in it, which means your kid got a CA. If, if you were homozygous for a trait, then that's absolutely guaranteed to get passed on. It's the only choice you have. You have to pass on one of them. So we know this has to be a CA. It's not a CH. It's the CA. So now we know both of these parents, which is nice. And now that's not the end. They want us to find the genotypes and phenotypes from the from this mating. So this parent and this parent that we just figured out, what happens when we cross them? I'm going to scoot this over a bit to give me a little more space. So we understand this parent very well. This parent we understand now that we have that information about the mom. I don't think we'll need to know about her any longer. And this is the cross that we must do. So Punnett square. Does it need to be a square? Hint, hint. It doesn't have to be a square because this chinchilla parent only has one allele. Every one of their offspring is going to get CCH from them. It would be wasteful to write that twice, so I'm not going to. This parent will pass on either CCH or CA. And so the combinations we get will be CCH, CCH, or CCH, CA. Dominant first. What do those look like? Well, this is chinchilla, of course. And chinchilla with A, I actually don't remember. I'm going to peek. CCA to light gray. I might have gotten that if I'd thought about it a little longer, but oh well. So, 50% chance of chinchilla, 50% chance of light gray. 